The spreadsheet reader in Tidler Live allows you to easily incorporate spreadsheet data from programs like Excel into your broadcasts. To create a title using the spreadsheet reader, navigate to the spreadsheet input, open the folder, and drag the template into your timeline. You will be prompted to select a file, and once selected, the spreadsheet tab will open in the attributes window, displaying your spreadsheet's data. Next, you will want to select a design from the library and drag it onto your title. From here, click Show Inputs and drag the variables onto their corresponding text fields. The names for these variables are derived from the first row of your spreadsheet. Now when we click on an item in our spreadsheet tab, the text fields in our title will be automatically populated with the relevant information. Furthermore, this text will automatically refresh when we, or any outside program, make any changes to the source file. You'll notice that the information in the spreadsheet tab is displayed in discrete lines of information, with the fields of the first line being the names of each column. Spreadsheets saved in this format will always display information in line mode, with each line operating as a single variable. When a spreadsheet contains multiple blocks of information separated by an empty line, Tidler Live automatically switches over to block mode, which is more commonly used to organize information when multiple variables are on display, for example, athletes, names, and times. Just like in line mode, Tidler Live gets its variable names from the first row in a spreadsheet, but in block mode, each variable is assigned to its relative position in the block of data. For example, name1 refers to the name field in row 1 of each block, and time1 refers to the time field of row 1 of each block. Now, no matter which block we select, the first row of information will be displayed in our title. Apply the corresponding variables to each row to have entire blocks of data display from a single click. Unlike in line mode, you can also toggle individual cells on and off by clicking on them, individual lines by clicking the arrow beside their name, and whole blocks by clicking the icon above the block. While the title is live, each one of these actions will play the element's transition animation, in this case a simple fade in and out. Finally, the spreadsheet reader in Tidler Live includes a handful of quality of life features, such as the ability to hide, rename, or reposition inputs in the attributes window.